Greetings. My name is Razma. You can call me Raz for short. And I'm Michael Ellsberg. And we are going to demonstrate a bodywork style that I developed in conjunction with the Soma Knots. It's called Soma Sense, and it's an exploratory, platonic, mutual massage touch modality. And we have been quarantine buddies for two weeks now, um, which makes us um, pretty safe to be rolling around with each other as friends. Um, currently, the CDC is not giving guidelines to avoid um, six feet of distance, you know, between you and your quarantine friends. So um, they're not saying, you know, you have to stay six feet away from your people you're in, in your home with unless one of you is sick or has known exposure to coronavirus. Um, that said, you're going to be safest if you wait 14 days, you know, the more contact you have or the, the less contact you have within that first 14 days. But we're not health experts or doctors. We're just going by um, what we've read on the CDC. Um, there's more links that you can do your own research around this um, yourself. Yes, and we're really excited to share this modality because many of us are in quarantines with different people that are friends and our housemates and our normal healers and body workers and massage therapists are not currently traveling to help us and so this is a way that we can get our therapeutic touch needs met by those that are on our quarantine for the greater physical and mental well-being of your team. I will be narrating different takeaway points and there's going to be a course to come that will cover all of the details of this, taking you from baby steps of not really knowing how to engage with someone physically all the way to being a body genius, but this is just a flavor of what you'll be able to learn and hopefully you'll come out with some great new ways to explore therapeutic touch with your friends. Great. So one good thing to keep in mind is it's good to mirror body parts because when we use one body part to massage that same body part on someone else, it has a similar sensitivity to touch and we can track how our touch is being received by the other person in a really effective way. Another good principle to follow is to meet hard with soft and soft with hard. If you're meeting bone on bone, that's usually pretty crunchy. And if you're just meeting soft on soft, sometimes the pressure can get lost. So the best combination is uh, a beautiful balance of meeting <laughs> hard with soft. The other thing too is always be tracking for your primary partner, which is the ground. So uh, really feel in your structural integrity and know that you're always supported by your first movement partner, your first dance partner, which is the ground. And this feels, this is, it's really nice also to take a pause and to, to rest in any position that feels really good, real, really uh, breathe deeply into the space that's created when you find a juicy combination. And we're modeling a active receiver, active giver model. But you can also fall into moments in which one, one of the people becomes <laughs> a uh, more passive recipient of the pressure and the contact. If that feels good to them. And that they can know that they can move away from the touch that uh, they don't prefer and move more into the touch that they do prefer or to reposition the pressure so that they find more release and relaxation and enjoyment. The other thing to get to know is your uh, play tonic 
partners, uh, happy sounds. So it's, if you've never rolled around with them before, it's nice to ask them in the beginning, what will it sound and look like if you are really enjoying uh, <laughs> what's happening? That's a good sound. That's a good sound. Yeah. So uh, nice. That's really nice exhalation there and a relaxation. And I can feel uh, uh, my partner's body relax into it and receive the, the weight. Now, what hypothetically would a um, too much, like, back off, yellow light, red light sound like? No. <laughs> yeah, that's great. And that's a great demonstration so that you can move out of the way of touch that is not suiting you or that you're not feeling today. Or maybe your body is tender in that place. And never feel as though you're obligated to receive any particular type of touch because this is a mutual pleasure practice ideally it's good for both the giver and the receiver and that you're not obligated somehow to be receiving something that doesn't feel good to you so here is a really great methodology that is unique to soma sense which is to use your chest to massage and that's really nice because there's a lot of lymphatic tissue in the chest and the lymphatic system unlike the heart and the circulatory system, doesn't have its own pump. So it relies on the movement of muscles and compression to move the lymphatic fluids throughout the body. So this is a great practice for getting those lymphatic fluids moving. I often call it uh, lymphatic drainage. And the lymphatic system uh, moves hormones throughout the body. And it also uh, moves a lot of um, kind of immune agents throughout the body. So to get your lymphatic system flowing is great for the immune system. And right now, something I really know though about Michael is that Michael really likes uh, chest compression. So like, learn the bodies of the people that you're playing with and be sure to check in and find your match. Um, not everybody is into everything, and that's perfectly okay. But this type of chest compression with those happy noises is really, really good to expand the rib cage and to uh, open up the capacity to receive more air and squeeze out all the air that's in the bottom of the lungs and activate the diaphragm and all the uh, inner stitial muscles that are there. And rib cage to rib cage is really nice as well. And really feel the fullness of the barrel of your chest. And you can also dig in with your shoulder blade, the back of your shoulder blade, your wings. The underarms are also a really, really great place that doesn't often get a lot of touch. Again, there's a lot of uh, lymphatic tissue there and uh, compressing that area can feel really nice. So this is one of our favorite moves, which allows me to stretch more fully into my uh, straight splits and allows me to be a sort of human foam roller underneath the person that is surfing the base. And so it feels really great. I know that my body craves compression. And part of why I developed Soma Sense was because uh, I really get a lot of oxytocin released when I'm compressed, which makes me feel at peace and calm and co-regulates my nervous system with those that I'm rolling with. I've always liked being compressed even when I was very, very young. And so it's great to develop ways to play that can meet everyone's needs and be mutually delightful.
Mm -hmm. And it's good to have a, as a prompt uh, a loose spine. So imagine that you're more in a snake spine type of mindset as though you're mostly spine and then you have surrounding muscles that help you undulate. It's a nice uh, sort of um, rhythm to get into. And to have a loose head is also really nice. So to relax your neck, relax your jaw. Our heads are so heavy. Our necks are holding up bowling balls all day. And it's really nice actually to use the neck also is a massage tool so you can arch up into someone's intestines gently of course and especially ask them if they've eaten recently maybe hold off until the digestion is complete for more abdominal massage moves <laughs> oh nice it's really nice to get leverage on the neck And you can find all sorts of little places to nestle the neck into. Like right now, Michael's bottom of rib cage is really working my occipital ridge very well right now. It's really relaxing. Wow, I'm so happy to work your occipital ridge. <laughs> I don't even know what that is. But, you know, I'm a pro, I'm sure. <laughs> the beauty of this methodology is that it's very intuitive. And if you're unsure, if you've never done this before, um, go slow. Uh, proceed at the pace of your ability to track your play partner's response. Oh. So something to always think about is, is the pressure you're applying on your playmate, is it being received? Are they relaxing into the pressure? That's great. Please proceed. If you find that they're tensing up or locking up, that usually means that you've either surprised them or that it's too much weight and they're not actually able to receive uh, the gift of your generosity of pressure. And so that's a sense to back off away from their edge. Ooh, nice. This is great. So the bottoms of my sits bones are resting on the top of Michael's sacrum. Nice. Got a little wiggle worm. <laughs> it's fun to ride your friend. And feel free to use your surroundings to provide leverage. If, you know, the person that you're playing with likes a lot of pressure, you can use the wall, press in. And another thing to visualize is you can be applying pressure to any specific point from a lot of different angles. So consider that especially uh, when you're working big regions of muscle. Uh, is that you can approach that muscle from any angle, 360 degrees, potentially. It's really great to incorporate twisting as well. And you can see that Michael's guiding my foot where he wants me to go. Or just where I thought you might enjoy. Oh, yeah, or where he thought I would enjoy. <laughs> but that's a good way to communicate is through... Um, manipulating someone's limbs into where you'd like them to be. Using them kind of as levers. <sighs> and definitely feel invited Feel welcome to make sounds that helps your play partners know what you're enjoying. If the pressure's good, 
feel free to ask for specific alterations, like moving an inch or so to the right or the left, or towards the head or towards the tail. Definitely get your twists in there too. It's really great to spiral the spine. And the side body is a wonderful access point as well. Not just the lying on your belly or on your back, but to, to work on the side body. The side of the rib cage doesn't often get uh, massaged or compression. And then you can really feel the full capacity of the barrel of your lungs in that way. structures you find around you, you know, walls are your, your allies. Dance with the space that you find yourself in. You could even massage yourself with the corner of the wall using that as a point of contact. And be sure to make sure that even you, if you're feeling in a more giving mode, that your body is also relaxed and not too tense. Certainly you can, you know, use your muscles to apply pressure, but uh, remember that this is for mutual benefit and delight. Another technique that I specifically developed is using your head. So you can use your head, especially to massage all the abdominal organs. It's particularly good in the underarms as well. And the other thing too is that for anyone with a lot of um, chest tissue, massaging the breasts actually releases oxytocin. So it's a great self-soothing technique, even if you're just by yourself. Really get into a curious mindset as well. Follow your, your wonder. And also be always be aware of where you are and always be prepared to fall. The terrain is ever changing when you're when your playground is another body, so just be sure to have your landing gear ready if you should make a slip or a slide down the mountain of someone's corpus. Oh, this is great. Wow, that's really getting into my hip, side of my hip really, really deeply. Mm -hmm. mm. Nice. Another thing, factor to consider is um, the type of squish that you're playing on. So some people actually like more firm and rigid squish so that they feel the compression between the floor and the other person on top of them. And there are other people that prefer uh, softer. So experiment with the materials that you're uh, playing on as well. And you can see how I can take um, Michael's leg and kind of steer it to allow the hip 
as a fulcrum point to then go on my hip. So you can kind of guide, you can guide into what you desire through nonverbal communication and repositioning. <laughs> nice. Wow, that's really great. Greeting space in my tailbone, the lower part of my sacrum, those bottom bottom portions of the spine really get compressed in our sentient, sedentary <laughs> lifestyle of sitting so much at our computers and in our vehicles or just absorbing book information or media information. The other thing too is some people's hips are more likely to have the the top either angle forwards or backwards and so it's worth inquiring as to if some someone walks with their butt kind of sticking out which is mine <laughs> so they often will prefer pressure in the reverse direction Perfect. well that was a great introduction into some some of the soma sense practices and stay tuned for a full lesson to come. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for watching.